this Max. It was George Miller who gave birth to a certain kind of car chase road movie. Now he's come back to reignite his world, which he started. It really is a reimagination, and you can enter it and experience something spectacular. This whole world is so detailed, and his characters are fascinating. I live, I die, I live again! George is such a legend of cinema, and I loved stepping into George's world for six months. About 12 years ago, I was on a long flight between Los Angeles and Sydney, and the movie Fury Road came unbidden and played in my head. Here we go! And by the time I landed, I told my colleagues, I think I've got another Mad Max movie. <laughs> it was an opportunity to use the new technologies and yet still do real people and vehicles in chaos. Dramatizing a story that's in constant movement is very, very tricky. But to George, it's what he thrives in. Remember to drive, yeah? George is an absolute genius. And he just puts his heart and soul into every detail. I've been working with George for about 35 years, and I've never seen George back away from what he has to do. He never takes the easy way through. Oh, reaching up and George talk. will ask you to do things which may seem insane. And then they will turn into something really wonderful. <laughs> he flipped trucks, and he blew things up, and he attached people, including me, to things which were far too high. Did that for six months until he got everything he wanted. George kind of created a world that will satisfy his fans, but also a generation who might not know those movies. Fury Road is a more immersive version than those films. You're going to see something even larger in terms of the authenticity of the world. George has spent a lot of time working out everything in the Mad Max world. I think people are going to go berserk when they actually get a full glimpse of the rest of the thing. You're not really in a movie. You're in George's head.